All right, so today is day 47, uh, first log of the day. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to recount some of the things that have happened yesterday as well as what's going to happen today. Okay, so starting with yesterday, um, I was supposed to go for a vaccination at 11 a.m. But apparently I found out from the staff there that the vaccination is of the old variant, in this case, monovalent. Whereas the new variant, which is called the bivalent, will only be available from Monday onwards. And considering that the old, va the old uh, variant and the new variants have differences in terms of coverage, and the old variant has less coverage than the new one, I decide, I probably checked with mom on this, and she suggested that I wait for the new variant. So obviously, it was kind of a wasted trip there, but now I know better, and I can definitely plan for this. Of course, here I'm talking about Pfizer, for those of you who don't know um, which type of and which type of post-pandemic vaccine I'm talking about. I'm not referring to Moderna, I was not I'm not referring to Sinovac, or whatever any other variant, sorry, not variant, vaccine uh, that you might have taken for your three doses, um, even if you alternated. As long as you know I'm talking about Pfizer, that's what matters. So yeah, I'm gonna wait till Monday to do that. Uh, to take the bivalent, to take the new variant, and I'm probably gonna expect the same symptoms, if not a fever. So that will include things like a headache, uh, the pain at the injection site. Probably that's about it. That's that's what I had last time. Next, uh, I'll be talking about uh, some of the. I'll be talking about the band discussion that I held that night, okay, which is last night. Lah. Um, here's one of the key things about running a new band project from scratch, especially in this digital era. Now we know that uh, social media, particularly Instagram, is starting to pop up quite a lot. But at the same time, there's also a downward trend leading to a recession um, coming January, so Instagram has, uh, so what, what, where are we? okay, sorry, um, so there are a couple of things, first is that Instagram has been popping up quite a lot, um, can't remember since when, maybe during the pandemic, um, as along with TikTok, um, both social media platforms have been popping up, uh, have been blowing up quite of quite of late lah. So, whereas Facebook has been left in the dust for probably quite a long time, maybe since it will it will be renamed to Meta, or maybe since it, oh, it took over WhatsApp, uh, and you know Zuckerberg was going to rename it was good is eventually going to rename Facebook to Meta. Um, <clears throat> but I think also the audiences. In terms of attention span, in terms of the type of co in terms of the type of content that they want to see, also has changed in one way or another. I don't know if you do have a do have accounts on both uh, Instagram and TikTok, but as an audience viewer yourself, what's the kind of content that you're likely to see, and what appeals to you most? And that's something we as new fresh content creators, um, not experienced as those who have maybe digital media or interactive media or mass comms degrees or diplomas have an advantage in and a different application in in this case um online or e-commerce sort of retail online retail therapy or e-commerce um, so we're just doing everything from scratch and we're doing everything independently so we're not going to be sourcing external help or what some sponsors and things like that at the moment. Given our current phase and given that we're, and like I said, we're a new project, we're going to be facing a lot of resistance, a lot of struggles. Um, 
And it's also Tim's vision that he doesn't want to see us doing the same things as other bands do in terms of music, uh, in terms of how um, they sort of segregate their audiences in the scene, which he refers to as gatekeeping. Basically, um, basically means if you play a certain music genre and you go performing live, the kind of fans that you'd probably want to attract or you would only let in are those that are of that genre instead of fans of other genres. Instead of letting in fans of other genres, such that you have a diverse, uh, diverse, such that there's some form of diversity in your fan base, and of course, that also, and of course, this uh, s segregation, this bias, has also can be sort of thought of as a elite club or a social. No, secret society, mentality or mindset. And the problem with this is that because you because of the restriction to that one genre of fans, that and subject to the demand of different of different genres, okay, those that are more popular will have more fans, those that have if your genre has has decreased popularity or demand uh, moving forward, it's going to be a problem. It's gonna, it's going to shrink, and it's going to cause you to lose relevance, as well. Now, uh, of course, maybe in the case of EDM, which is not, which is, which isn't band relevant. Okay, that might be another story, but we're talking about bands. But we're talking about genres such that have existed um, pop rock, pop punk, um, funk, jazz, or contemporary pop, all this kind of anything that's not metal music, even though the concept can also apply to heavy to different uh, subclasses of heavy metal. But here we're talking about uh, the non metal aspect since that's what's here. And anyway, even the metal scene also is starting to sort of converge or move into the down tuning, almost metalcore like sound, which also the same problem of everyone sounding the same would come back, will come back again uh, to will come back again to the same problem as what's going on in the current music scene. Um, from what I learned from Tim as well. So for those of you who are new musicians out there, this is probably the best piece of advice that I that I have uh, shared now. And if you're new and upcoming, uh, do let me know as well. Um, I'll probably drop a link for contact in in the description. So at least, you know. There are still channels of communication with me uh, on these things. Yep. So that's about it. That's about it for the first log. Um, hopefully, if there are any new things that pop by along, I'll be sure to record them as well, whether through text or uh, through videos like this. Yep. So that's the first log.